April 15th. This is the fourth microwave experiment now. Uh, the only difference I've done from the previous experiment is, as I mentioned, I've added magneti a magnetite jacket around the graphite crucible, and also I'm only using two strips of aluminum. I won't be doing any pouring here today, this is just a test to see whether or not I can get aluminum to melt. If after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, it does melt, I will simply be taking it out and leaving it in the crucible to cool. And if it works, I will then think about trying to use this method for casting or whatever. Also, I've decided that because I've discussed in the previous preamble, I'm not going to be using the jacket this time. So I'm going to be taking the jacket off. And I'll start off with 10 minutes. So we'll take that off. Okay, I'll put the lid on that. And we'll bung them in. <coughs> 10 minutes, 1000 watts. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, here we go. On. Jet starts. Gloves on. And I'll film back later. Interestingly, the microwave has gone beep, 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 far too prematurely. So I'll have a look, see what's happened. Hmm. Nothing spectacular. I can't see anything that's happened in there. But let's uh, give it another go. Where is it? So we want about, or is it about 10 minutes? Ten minutes, jet start. Move away. It just cut off, it just went beep, 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 beep prematurely. I'm not quite sure why. You just went beep. Let's have a look and see what happened after 10 minutes. Okay, can we lift this safely? It smells a bit strange. Don't tip it up or anything. That's it. And here's what it looks like after 10 minutes. Whoa, smoking hot already after 10 minutes. We're on at something here. Let's give it another go. It's been nearly 25 minutes and the micro is starting to make strange noises, so I've got my safety kit on and I film them just in case anything happens. I think it might be wise to go and take a look. So shall we call it time? Call it time out. I'm going to get you to stop. Okay. Look at that now. Here are the contents. Still no evidence of melting. Hmm. Might want to give it a bit more time. After something like 40 something minutes after cooking, let's have a look. Oh, it's certainly feeling very toasty in there, that's for sure. And let's have a look inside the lid. Still no sign of melting, but it does feel roasting hot in there now. Time for another checkup. Three, two, one. Go. And here's what it looks like after 50 odd minutes. 
still no evidence of melting. But you can see it's really fucking toasty in there though. Another premature beef. I wonder what the case is. Let's give it a go. And let's have a look inside. Still no sign of melting. The microwave is making some very odd noises. I'm going to do another check up. Stop. Open. Out. Very toasty. I can feel the heat coming out of it. Another look. No signs of any glow, no signs of melting. Back in for longer. At 4 pm, I'm completing the test. I've got a sneaking suspicion I'm on the right track here, but I'm doing something wrong. Okay, it's been almost two whole hours of solid microwaving. I am calling the experiment over. Let's have a look at the final results. Two hours of calcium silicate single layer, teacup, magnetite sand, graphite crucible, two sheets of aluminium. And these are the final results. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see how hot is it. If it burns a piece of Rizzler or some shit, then we know we're onto something. So here's a bit of paper. Ooh, now does this catch fire? Yep, as you see, it's hot enough to burn. Definitely hot enough to burn. See that? So we're definitely on the right track, but it's not yet hot enough to melt the aluminium. That's still, uh, that's still burning, I might. There we go. So the answer is yes, we've got over Fahrenheit 451 burning point of paper. That much we do know, we have not reached 660 degrees centigrade. Um, I think we're on the right track with the magnetite, is the conclusion. But after rereading the, uh, the website that taught me how to do this, apparently I need a thin layer of carbon with clay, I need a thin layer of magnetite with clay, and then finally I need some layers of molochite, which I've not got at the moment, and I don't have any money to buy at the moment. But for experiment five, that's what we shall do. In the meantime, I'm, cu I'm cutting off the power to the microwave. Power off. And I'm calling the experiment concluded. So we haven't successfully melted aluminium, but we are definitely, definitely on the right track.